Hello and welcome to the Shining Shining Show. Um, so today I'm going to be doing the long anticipated uh, vape video. Um, basically explaining what flavours I've had over the time that I've been vaping. What I think of them. I do have three new ones here that I've never ever tried. Um, so I am going to be trialling them um, on this video. Um, as you can see, I've still got a full tank at the minute, so I'll try and get that down. If not, I'll empty it, um, then I'll pick it back up. Um, so the ones I'm going to be trying, trialling are Apple Black Currant, um, and Cherry Tunes, and Pink Raspberry Strips. They're the ones that I'm going to be trialing. Um, so I've got three there to trial. I've got a couple of old containers um, with flavours that I've had in the past. Um, I am going to be vaping on this video because it's a vape video. So usually I vape Heisenberg. Um, very, very popular e-liquid I absolutely love it um, I absolutely love Heisenberg um, the system that I use is the as you can see here we've got the a smock so that is a smock TFE 12 max mesh coil that I use in there I vape that at about 130 watts. Um, I do need a new coil. Um, this one is burning a little bit. Um, I am getting one tomorrow. <clears throat> That's when I'll do the coil change video. If I'm not able to get one, I do have a spur coil, so I'll do it that way. Um, the actual mod itself is a J-Ball. Um, very reliable. It operates off three batteries, as you can see there. I've took one out, so then you can see the two there. Um, so the liquids that I've had over the time that I've vaped, um, it's not all of them. I will go through some of the others. Um, all these was bought from a place called Hayes E-Cigs on Lee Market. Um, very cheap, very reliable. Um, I will put the link to their Facebook page in the description. Um, and after I've showed you some of these, um, I will put in the next part of the video, put some pictures up of what they do. Um, and, and that's all in a little bit of what they do. They do all sorts. So, salted caramel. Um, obviously, once again, this is an empty bottle. Um, salted caramel. I got this from Hazy Eggs. Very, very nice. Um, quite sweet. Um, it's like a, it's a desserty one, though. The only problem with the desserty ones is it it ruins your coil. It. it your coil wears out quicker. Um, just bear with me, I'm just going to have a drink. It does wear out a lot quicker than, than say, like your vape Heisenberg. Um, at the minute, I've not bought a new coil for nearly four months, something like that. I've been cleaning the coils that I've got, um, and they have lasted. Um, but that, I would highly recommend from Hazy Sig Salted Caramel. So another one that I bought from Hazy Sigs was a Heisen Boys range. Now this is Heisen X Licorice. Now I found that this burnt my coil out a lot quicker than the other ones. And I had to keep every day replacing it and cleaning the coil. But apart from that, that was a very, very nice flavour. It's very sharp on your throat, though. Um, obviously, I vape mine at 130 watt. 
I did have to turn it down to about 80 or 90. So to get the best out of this, you're looking at vaping at about 100, about 90 or 80. Uh, with the salted caramel, you can vape that at 130, not a problem. Um, the lower that you turn the wattage down, though, the more flavour you get out of it. Um, obviously, I like getting big clouds, so I have mine on 130. The only other downfall with this is it stains your coil. Um, actually, I'll show you. I'll give you an example of one that it stained. So usually when you buy a coil, obviously the cotton inside of it is white. Uh, that's what the licorice did to mine. It absolutely destroyed it. Um, it's got plenty, of, it's, it's got like little bits in it as well, but I would recommend it. it, it it's lovely, it's a really, really nice liquid. Um, just gonna put them down there all the way. So, another one that I got for, actually, I've still got a little bit left in there. <clears throat> From Hazy Sigs again. Custard Donut. Um, it wasn't as good as the rest that I've had from there, but I still enjoyed it. Um, once again, another desserty one, like a cakey flavour. Very sweet. Um, so, I would recommend with all these, like, desserty ones that you change your coil after using them. Um, but nowadays, for a single coil, it's only four or five quid. It's not It's not like you're paying 13, 15 quid. Um, but I, enjoy, I enjoyed it, but it wasn't the best that I've had. Um, but Custard Donut, I would recommend. Um, that is... Martini's, Martini's Custard Donut, uh, quite a nice flavour. Um, so, we have here Candy Cola Bottles. Now, I know what you're all thinking, does it actually taste like cola bottles? Yes, it does. That tastes exactly like cola bottles. Um, this is my opinion. Um, you'd have to get it yourself to try it. But candy cola bottles, it tastes exactly like cola bottles, and it is lovely. It's quite sweet, um, as you would imagine with it being cola bottles, it is quite sweet. Um, these are six pound each, something like that. Um, I'm not too sure on the prices. Don't quote me. I know that they, they the Heisenberg, are definitely six pound each. Um, and then your Nick shots with them are a pound each, and that is from Hazy Sigs. Like I said, I'm gonna put some pictures up in the minute, and then I am gonna leave the link to their Facebook in the description. So, we have one more here. Now, I didn't get this from Hazy Sigs. I got this online. And um, it was a Heisenberg that I got online. I could never, ever find, like, a 100ml Heisenberg online. And I did this once. Um, and the make is actually billiards. And I do, I, I am going to recommend it. I recommend all of them from Hazy Sigs. Um, this was a little bit dearer than anything else that I've ever had. Um, but well worth it. Well, well worth it. Um, I don't think it comes with Nick shots. I do think they have to buy them separate. Um, but if you type into eBay, Heisenberg 100ml liquid, that should come up. Um, once again, really, really nice liquid. Um, I am a big Heisenberg fan, though. So, hang on. So, I'm going to show you some pictures now. Um, and then I'm going to pick the vlog back up after that. 
Um, so I'm going to put some pictures in now and then we are going to try a lease for a year. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about my e-cig. I'm going to show you a little trick that I know. Um, and we're just going to talk a little bit about e-cigs and other flavours that I've tried and where I've got them from. So I'll pick this vlog back up after these pictures. So, as you could see there, there was various flavours. Um, I'm not 100% on them all, because I've not looked at the pictures properly. But that is the range that they do at the minute. They are reopening Monday on Lee Market. So, if you want to go down there and have a look at the range that they've got in. Um, if you look on the Facebook page, it does say that they're fully stocked. Um, so... Shannon has also done a video, so I'm going to pass you over to Shannon and then it'll come straight back to me. Um, I'm going to pass you over to Shannon now. She's going to explain a little bit about what she's vaping, um, what she enjoys um, and stuff like that. So I'll pass you over to Shannon, then I'll pick it back up then. Hi everyone. Uh, my name's Shannon, of course. I also smoke pieces. Uh, my e-cig that I am currently having, I'll just get it now, is this one. Um, very, very small. Very okay if you're just chilling out and stuff. Um, so I go for flavours like blackcurrant, blackcurrant menthol, Heisenberg. But the two of them that I'm trying out um, from Hayes e-cigs as well is this lovely strawberry slush well recommended the flavour is amazing it tastes like it when you vape it it's honestly one of the best ones I've ever had from them so I highly recommend this I can also something that caught my eye tang fast it's like the sweets um, this is raspberry and um, pineapple, so I got this one because of it's, they said it was highly recommended and they, when I asked them all about it, they said honestly it, it tastes and smells like the sweets and I can honestly tell you what, buying this has been the best thing. This liquid here is fantastic you can actually taste it smells like it it's worth it and i will be buying it again so go and check out hazy Sigs. they have so many different flavors as sean said and hi i've said so in the meantime thank you so that was some of the flavors that uh, shannon enjoys um what she's currently using at the minute um Highly recommended, all of them. Um, so, I'm going to trial my three new flavours. Now, I've got pink raspberry strips, apple blackcurrant, and cherry tunes. All 100ml, all at 3mg. Um, that's what I vape all my liquids at, is 3mg. So, first off, we're going to try the uh, cherry tunes. So, cherry tunes... Um, obviously, I've just had Heisenberg in it, so I did have to do something that I hate doing. Is that going in? So, we'll just vape that through, and then I will tell you what I think of it. So, Cherry Tunes, um, anywhere I can leave that, so then you can... No, I was hoping that I could kind of leave it in front of the camera. 
just vape it for a minute. So, whilst I'm vaping this room, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, some of these liquids that I've had in the past. Um, obviously, all them that I've showed you. Um, I've had the cheap ones, like uh, Fusion. Now, Fusion is really, really nice. Um, Peach Dream as well, that is lovely. Um, I'm going to go into a bit more detail on some other flavours later. Um, things like like what I've had from other places. Um, like another shop that he uses, Vape Saloon, which is really good. So it's starting to come through this now. Starting. You can definitely taste the cherry even when you're vaping it through. <coughs> um, the first taste you get is actually cherry. That was more of a that was a better hit. Um, <coughs> that's actually really, really nice. I like really nice. You can definitely taste the cherry in it. That is really, really nice. I, I do. I like that. Um, I would recommend that. <coughs> just bear with me, I'm just going to have a drink. My uh, room's going to be like a smoke cloud after this video. <coughs> um, I have got two more to trial, but I like that. Um, so these three that I have here are actually three for £15, 100 mil. So you're getting 300 ml of liquid, um, a pound each for your nick shot. So two nick shots at 18 milligram makes it up to three milligrams. So all in all, for 300 milligram of liquid, 21 quid. Now I don't think you'll find that anywhere else. That that is that's cheap. Um, if you like the flavors, then go for it. <clears throat> if you don't, then obviously buy something that you like. But Cherry Tunes, I would recommend that. It tastes very much like cherry. Like the uh, Cherry Tunes Sweet as well. Um, <clears throat> very, very nice. Highly, highly recommend this one. Um, so we're going to move on to the next one now. Um, just let me empty the liquid out of this. Like I say, um, I'll I'll do all this on on camera so that you, then you can see me. Use a towel, an old towel that I've got. Put the liquid into that. Stay. Right. Empty that out. There we go. All right now, put that back together. Bear with me a second. Put that back together. Right, put that down there, don't worry. <clears throat> so now I'm going to try the apple black currant. Now I've tried apple black currant ones before and I've never ever been a fan of them. Um, I've never tried it from Hazy Sig, so I am going to try it, see what it's like. <coughs> <coughs> It 
seems to be quite thin. Seems to be quite thin. Um, but we will trial it. I'll just um, get the flavour for it. So, apple black currant, this one. It's still a taste of cherry tunes. Give it a few vapes. Yeah, that's uh, starting to come through now. Just have a few more vapes, get it through. So, apple black currant. <coughs> now, as I say, um, Benjamin Quiet. Um, I'm not a big fan of apple black currant, but this one is actually quite nice. I think the black currant is more dominant, but you can definitely taste the apple in it. Um, so the black currant is more dominant. Yeah, the black currant is definitely more dominant. But I actually quite like that. That's a, uh, and as I say, I I'm not a fan of apple and black currant, and I like that. Um, it's more the black currant ones that I don't like. Um, <clears throat> I'm not the biggest fan of apple either, but together. That is lovely. That is lovely. I like that. As you can see with the liquids as well, it doesn't take long for the flavour to come through. Some liquids you buy, <coughs> you're waiting like an hour for the flavour to come through, but with these, they come through straight away. Um, I don't. It might be something that they put in the liquid that they work quicker. I, I could not tell you, <coughs> but I like that. I do like that. So that's apple and black currant. Um, all these that I'm trialing are from Hazy Sids. Um, next, we're gonna do. <laughs> Tangy Sweets and Sour it's um, actually my own it's Pink Raspberry um, Pink Raspberry Strips so I think it's like the like, like strips yeah like with sugary sh strips um, you just bear with me a second I'm going to empty the liquid out of this absolutely hate emptying liquid out of this like this but if I'm doing a vape video then I suppose I have no choice. Uh, oh no. That didn't sound good. Oh no, we're safe. Right. Uh, yeah. So even when he emptied it out then, that does seem quite thin. Um, the VG and PG... It's 60 VG and 40 PG. Now, I'm not high up on on what they actually mean, but that is quite a thin liquid. Um, so I do know that, that will affect your coil more. But as I said earlier in the video, coils are only a couple of quid to change. Um, depends what e-cig that you actually use, uh, what coil that you need. Um, some are three quid for a coil, so I 
Hang on, let me just put this back together. <coughs> So now the pink raspberry one. I'm going to try all this now. Straight away, um, this is a lot thicker. Um, you can always tell by the speed that it actually goes into your tank. Um, Personally, I don't like thin liquids um, because the thinner the liquid, the less vape that you get off it. So, I don't usually like vaping thin liquids, but like I say, that last one, that that, that one was lovely. Um, the apple black currant, even though it's quite thin, it is actually quite nice. can still taste the apple black currant. Once you start vaping that, the the flavour actually comes together. But at first I found that the black currant was more dominant, but now they seem equal. Um, let's get this one vaped through. Pink raspberry. doesn't seem to be coming through this. <clears throat> like three vapes now and it's still not come through. It's starting to come through slowly now. <clears throat> Doesn't want to come through. Doesn't want to come through. Doesn't want to come through. I'll just put a little bit more liquid in so then I don't burn my coil out. But that doesn't want to come through. <coughs> that is something that I find with the um, apple and black currant and the like the different apples and the black currant ones, it takes a while after you've vaped it to get the taste off your coil. Now, I have messed up there. I should have done that first and then that one last. Um, there we go. It's coming through now. Very sugary. <clears throat> um, first impression... Very, very sugary. You can definitely taste the sugary in it. <clears throat> Little bit harsher on my throat. Um, <clears throat> that may be because of not stopped vaping for about 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm actually starting to feel quite sick. That... Pink raspberry. That is actually quite nice. Um, I would recommend that. Um, how can I explain this one? It's like, <clears throat> you know when you have a tangy sweet? Well, obviously raspberry flavour. It's like it's a bit like that. That is really nice. And that is nice. <clears throat> As it says, tangy, sweet and sour, it is. 
It is quite tangy, quite sweet and sour, but it, it, it's lovely. That is quite nice. You can feel it on your throat, though. When you take it back, you can actually feel that one on your throat. Um, it's quite nice, that. Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> that is quite nice. Right, I'm going to put my Heisenberg back in. I'm going to save them until I run out of Heisenberg. Because obviously they're quite sweet flavours, so if I vape that all night, <clears throat> my uh, coil is going to burn out pretty quick. Like I say, I'm getting some new coils tomorrow, so I'm going to do a video on how to change a coil. Um, hang on. The glass on me thing is red hot. That's probably because I've been vaping quite a bit, though. So we'll put that back on there. So next, I'm actually going to talk about some other flavours that I've had in the past. Um, one or two from Hazy Sids. Um, another place that I use is Vape Saloon. Um, across the road from Wilkinson's in Lee. Um, I also highly recommend them. They are very good. Um, not as cheap as Hazy Six, but the liquids are very nice. Um, they do a range of different coils. I usually get my coils from there, <clears throat> but with them not being open, I'm having to use somewhere different tomorrow. Um, a place in Wigan, actually, I've got to go and get it from. Um, so I will be getting that tomorrow. I'll do my coil change video there. Just bear with me. In fact, I'm going to pick this video back up in a minute. Um, then I'll explain a little bit more. Right, so as I was saying, I'm now going to talk a little bit about my kit. Um, other flavours that I've tried in the past. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about Vape Saloon. The range that they do. They do do a deal two for 18 quid. Um which is very handy. Um, I used to use Vape Saloon all the time. I do still use them. Um, Hazy Sigs as well have been great. Um, they offer a delivery service at the minute, Hazy Sigs. Um, they are reopening Monday. Um, I'm not too sure when Vape Saloon's reopening. Um, some of the flavours that I've had from Vape Saloon, I've had Heisenberg, um, that is really nice, I've had a banana flavour, <clears throat> uh, what else have I had? They do a 50ml Heisenberg, which in my opinion is better than the 100ml Heisenberg, it tastes more rich, more like an actual Heisenberg, but the 100ml does taste good, tastes like Heisenberg, so I recommend both, I recommend both. Um... <clears throat> Before I got an e-cig like this, I did used to have like a pen, and I used to use some of the cheaper ones, um, the 88 vape. Um, <clears throat> now, obviously, you don't know what's in them, so I'm not going to recommend them. There are a few flavours that they enjoyed. Um, <clears throat> once again, I'm not going to recommend buying them because you don't know what it's doing to your coil. You don't know what it's doing to your insides. If you use these trusted places like Hazy Sigs Vape Saloon and places like that, you know that they make they either buy it off a supplier where it gets made properly or they make it themselves. Um, with the ATA Vape, you don't know what's in it. <clears throat> um, but they have. I had one once that was uh, called Cool Bird, and that was an ATA Vape. It was a bit like a Heisenberg, um, quite strong but nice, quite strong but r really nice. Um, the Peach Dream, which I mentioned earlier in the vlog, that's uh, another one that I enjoy. And the Fusion, now I'm a big, big fan of Fusion, I love Fusion. It's got like a menthol taste to it, 
So you get the actual flavour and the menthol taste. Um, now, I know I said I weren't going to recommend 88 Vape, but them two 88 Vape ones that I've just told you about, the Peach Dream and the Fusion, I would recommend them. They are really nice. Um, Hazy Cigs also do these 10 mil ones. Um, <clears throat> one that's called Cola. Um, it does taste like Cola and it is really, really nice. I am also a big fan of my milkshakey ones, like chocolate milkshakes. I've had a few. And believe it or not, they do actually taste like a uh, milkshake. Um, Vape Saloon do some of them. Um, Hazy Sids do some. I've never tried them from Hazy Sids. <coughs> um, but yeah, I would recommend all of them. Um, another place that are using Wigan is Electro Fag. Um, now, they are really good. Um, they do a range of coils, a range of liquids. If you go in, you can see behind um, the counter, there's all sorts of liquids. So I recommend hit, um, Electro Fag in Wigan. They are really good. Um, that's actually where I'm getting my coil from tomorrow. They are open at the minute, and I'm not sure how many in and out. Um, but they are definitely open at the minute. Uh, so I would recommend Electro Fag. Now they once had a Peaky Blinders range in. I don't think they still do it, but they did a Dr Pepper flavour. Now I'm a massive fan of Dr Pepper. I love the drink. The liquid, believe it or not, if you go in and ask, they may be able to get it back in. The liquid, believe it or not, actually tastes spot on. It actually tastes like Dr Pepper. At first, I was like, will it taste like Dr. Pepper? And he said, try it. So I did. And it tastes just like Dr. Pepper. It is absolutely lovely. Um, <clears throat> so that's a little bit about the liquids that I've, uh, that I've vaped over the time that I've been vaping. There is more, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, a little bit about my setup. Now, <clears throat> this mod, um, the j -Bo, I think it's called, I would highly, highly recommend this because this is about... Well, I've had it 12 months and it's still going strong. Um, I bought it off my stepbrother for 70 quid and he'd had it about 12 months before me and he bought it second hand. So I, so for what I know of it, it's two years old and I've never once had a problem with it. The only issue is, is I can't charge it via a wire, but I, if you vape quite a bit and you use e-cigs like this, you're probably going to have a battery charger, which I do have over there in the corner. Um, I have two, it takes three batteries, so I have six batteries and then uh, I'm never, like, without an EC. Um, the tank is a, with the coil, is a TFE-12 Max Mesh. Um, smock. Now, a lot of people don't recommend smock, and neither do I. I, I. I don't like smock, but this is one of the best mod, this is one of the best tanks that they've ever done. Um, the TFE 16 that goes up to 160 watt, I have had a go of that uh, with the bubble glass. That is also a very, very good tank. Uh, they're the only two things that I'd recommend from Smart. Um, Shannon did have an e -cig that was a Smart one. Um, that broke. I've actually still got it in my drawer. <clears throat> it lasted about six months and then broke. Um, so I wouldn't recommend Smart. But for the tanks, um, the TFE 12 and the TFE 16, I would I would recommend them. They're really good. <clears throat> now my mouthpiece, you're probably thinking, what the hell is that? Personal opinion, whatever you like. <clears throat> but I got this from Vape Saloon. I think it was about three quid. Um, highly recommend the 
tips. Um, they're really, really good. Um, never had any problems with any of their tips. Um, obviously, when I got it, it didn't come with this tip. Um, it had a different tip on it. That broke. I smashed it in my pocket. Thank God it weren't the glass. And it was all in a cheap fix. Um, but I would highly recommend this setup. I vape it at 130 watt. <clears throat> It's quite a quite a smooth vape. I can still taste all the other flavours. Um, but all in all, if you want a liquid that's not going to mess your coil up as quick, I would recommend Heisenberg. Um, all the other liquids that I've had and I've I've put in my coils burnt with them and I've had to boil it in salt water uh, that is a cleaning method I would recommend um, obviously boil the kettle fill the pan up put some salt in <clears throat> turn the ring on full let it boil I usually boil it for about 15 minutes. Take it out, wrap it in some kitchen roll. <clears throat> um, leave it on the side for a few hours. Um, or if you want to make sure it's completely dry, leave it till the morning after. Then usually when you put it in, the you don't get any taste for about 20 minutes. Just carry on vaping it, bring it through, dry it out. And it works perfect. Um, so if you're ever low on money and you can't afford a new coil, like I've been in that situation myself. Um, I recommend boiling it um, in salt water. In fact, I highly recommend boiling it. Uh, boiling it in salt water is the best thing I ever did. Um, I never did it before the lockdown, but with the lockdown that and having to order it all, it, it just makes so much sense to uh, boil them. But like I say, I'm getting a new one tomorrow. I can't wait for the fresh flavour. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but that's just about it for today. Um, once again, thank you for your continued support. Um, this was a highly anticipated video everyone was asking me when's your vape video going to be out so i'm expecting it to get quite a few views um so if this video gets 100 views i will do one of these videos again next month um i will if this seems to get views and i will keep keep doing them um trying different flavors but once again those three flavors that i i trialed earlier which are down here you've got cherry tunes pink raspberry apple black currant now they're the ones that have trialed today you can get all them from hazy six um three for 15 pound and then your nick shots a pound each so if you vape it at three milligram 300 ml liquid it's going to cost you 21 quid i personally think that is a great deal i don't think you'll find a better deal anywhere so i highly recommend that um but as i've just said i'm gonna leave it here for today uh thank you for watching uh don't forget to like subscribe uh comment turn the notifications on and follow us on everything i uh, messed that up there uh, but for now that's it thanks for watching and stay safe